So before we dive in today, I want to address the elephant in the room. Who knew that people online had very strong opinions about nutrition? I'm not advocating a plant-based diet or an animal-based diet. Today's video is all about just giving you the information that you need if you are going the plant-based route or if you're thinking about it. Let's start with some of the benefits of a plant-based diet. It boosts heart health by lowering coronary plaque and lowering blood pressure. It lowers levels of inflammation. It can boost your recovery time. It helps improve arterial flexibility, which means you get a better blood flow. Uh, it's also usually higher in fiber and antioxidants. Plant-based runners often have better digestion and less GI issues. So overall, some really great health benefits of eating a plant-based diet. How to do plant-based nutrition right? First of all, you wanna make sure that you are properly planning your diet. It's, you know, you get that question all the time, how am I getting my protein or how are you getting your protein? It's not just protein, it's your overall caloric intake, it's all of your macronutrients, the fats, the proteins, the carbohydrates. Are you getting enough variety in your diet? So it's really important that you plan ahead and make sure that you're meeting all of those nutrient requirements. Uh, you also want to eat whole foods first and kind of look for quality supplements second, uh, not relying on the all of those packaged um, kind of highly marketed vegan or plant-based products. Those can come in kind of in a pinch or if you're traveling, but you want to make sure that the bulk of your diet is actually made up of whole foods uh, and then some quality supplements. Last up, I want to address some nutrient, common nutrient deficiencies that plant-based runners or athletes might see. So iron, uh, daily recommendations are eight micrograms for men, 18 for premenopausal women. So if you uh, are feeling maybe fatigued, if you're having poor recovery, poor sleep, if you're getting sick all the time, you might be low in iron. Blood test is always something to consider if you're really concerned about it. Uh, some foods that plant-based runners can use to boost their iron would be things like spinach, uh, lentils, beans. But again, those are kind of lower sources, lower level sources of iron, so you still might need a supplement, uh, something to pay attention to. B12 is another deficiency that we see a lot in plant-based runners. Uh, since it comes primarily from animal products, uh, you wanna watch that. Fortified non-dairy milks are a great source of B vitamins, uh, cereals, oats, some of those fortified foods. Uh, you can also look for a supplement, an easy chewable uh, vitamin B12. Lastly, calcium. So you wanna get about 1,000 micrograms a day. You can get calcium from some plant-based foods, turnips, mustard greens, kale, but if you're relying, let's say, on kale for your calcium, you would need about 32 cups per day of kale. That's a lot of kale to be eating to meet that calcium requirement. Uh, but on the flip side, one cup of fortified almond milk can have up to 45% of your daily calcium needs met in there. So, Again, with that planning uh, and proper attention to detail, you can meet your nutrient requirements. Wanna address one point that I've seen a lot uh, when athletes are working with me, I always like to have, their blood, have them do blood testing first. And I've seen a lot of plant-based runners with higher glucose levels, so that's your blood sugar. That is often because plant-based runners rely on carbohydrates to meet a lot of their caloric requirements. And some of those more processed carbohydrates, some fruits even, can kind of spike blood sugar levels. So it's something that you wanna pay attention to and make sure that you're including fiber-rich foods and a lot of veggies in your plant-based diet. Just because strawberry Pop-Tarts and Oreos are vegan, technically vegan foods, that doesn't mean that those are the best things for runners to be eating. So what are the you know, most bang for your buck plant-based foods? I'm gonna give you a little list. So we jot these down. Avocados, everyone loves avocados. Hemp seeds, uh, fortified nut milks, nut butters, veggies, obviously, veggies and greens, legumes, get a lot of a lot of bang for your buck there oats are a great one and then protein powders if you are going to be using a protein powder and supplementing I find that to be very healthy in plant-based or non-plant-based diets 
as you've heard me say before, you wanna make sure that you find a quality protein supplement. So this is my favorite uh, plant-based protein supplement, a company called Momentus. Why do I like them? Aside from their ingredients, they are Informed Sport or NSF certified, which means they are clean of banned substances and they actually contain the ingredients that are listed on the nutrition label. So if you're gonna be doing a protein powder, make sure that you get a quality one. But, 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 and, and can keep, it was. At the end of the day, whether you're entirely plant-based or you're just thinking about adding more vitamin and mineral rich foods to your diet, these will make you a healthier and happier runner. Just want to make sure that you're putting in the proper planning. All right, if you like this video, be sure and click that like button down below. Leave me a comment and questions that you have about a plant-based diet and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the videos. All right, I'll see you in the next one.